What's up troopers, my name is Neon and a brand new update is here. This is update 5.2. There's so much to talk about and we're going to give the honest review as well. So before we get into the video, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, would really appreciate it. And of course, leave a like as well. Thank you very much. If you troopers are wondering when this update comes out, this update is out right now. So what you're waiting for, go and download it. So the first thing we need to talk about is Hourglass, the rework. This is finally the last rework map. What is going to be in Battlefield 2042? I believe it was season one is when they brought out their first rework map. And ever since then, they've just been reworking no more. But Hourglass was actually the last one. And Hourglass is honestly the one where it needed it the most. But I tell you what though, wow, what a big change that actually has been. I'm actually kind of mind blown to how different this map actually does look now. Actually having the underground bit kind of feels different. A bunch more cover now and I feel like I'm actually having way more aggressive gunfights. I'm actually kind of enjoying it and it's really weird to actually have a map where it's just really bad for a very long time and now it's actually playing pretty good. Like imagine if this was like a thing on older Battlefield titles and you just looked at the worst map and they just turned it into one of the best. But I tell you what though, I'm not going to lie, I'm actually having a, quite a lot of fun. There is certain situations though when I know the snipers are just going to get me and I don't stand a chance. I guarantee they're going to tweet with stuff like that over time anyway once more people start playing it, giving more feedback. But overall, I'm really enjoying the Hourglass rework. The next thing we need to talk about is the squad management. What is really good for the whole squad system now is, is that what you can finally do is you can lock your squad and you can kick people. Well, it's a really good addition. Originally before when they did release this whole squad system, they wasn't going to actually add this whatsoever. They felt like like it was going to increase toxic behavior but they turned it around they listened to the community and they finally actually allow it there honestly though you only just want to kick people if you want to get your own proper squad in there but then you can also now lock the squad so you can get your teammates in there i don't feel like that many people are going to be kicking people unless they're just not playing the objective whatsoever but this is an og thing what has been going around for a very long time with this whole squad system so it's really nice to see it back now this was something i was really excited about talking and i'm so glad i'm getting my hands on it now and that is is actually the vault weapons getting their 2042 attachments for the smgs and lmgs honestly it really catched me off guard that the fact is they released them both at the same time i thought it was going to drip feed it and then release each category bit by bit but they just went for the smgs lmgs and the sidearms as well so so many weapons are getting their 2042 attachments and it's pretty sweet as i make a lot of best weapons class setup videos for you guys i'm just going to show the best weapons in this video here so just keep watching the footage and i'm going to show all the vault weapons of the new 2042 attachments and just what class setup you should be using. So just keep watching the video while I just talk about everything else. I am really glad though to actually see these weapons getting their 2042 attachments. It's been really fun. The RPK has actually been a lot of fun for me really. And the same as the XM8. That's been a really lot of fun. Because the LMGs has just been good overall. But the thing is though, it's just the SMGs. There's so many cool weapons in there now what you can actually be using a massive variety. And honestly, I just feel pretty good now how the weapons actually are now. Because I remember I launched them there wasn't that many whatsoever and actually seeing the bolt weapons as well getting 242 attachments it's just been good overall and i believe that's every single weapon in the game what is a bolt weapon actually has its 242 attachments now but now we have all the rework maps and now we have all the vault weapons having their 242 attachments troopers you remember in season 5 when it came out and you remember what they done to the assault rifles after you shoot 50 percent of your magazine the bullet spreads and it increases more and it was only just for the assault rifles and they was tweaking with it and they did a lot more tweaking over the each updates and they actually were feeling a lot more better and they were improving a lot more but the thing was the lmgs and the smgs they were just absolutely more laser beams because they wasn't having that much spread whatsoever now they're going to be balanced just like how the assault rifles are so the lmgs and smgs are also going to get their spread increased but that's only by when you're shooting 50 percent of your magazine but with the smgs and lmgs it's not going to be as severe increased as it was when it came to the assault rifles so this will probably sort out the meta when it came to the, all the LMGs just going around with basically a 200 round AR. So it's definitely going to add it more of a balanced category. You're probably not going to be laser beaming so many people across the map anymore. But honestly, I feel like with the whole spread stuff, I just have to try out even more longer and actually tell you guys in a whole separate video itself and actually see how they feels. But if you guys want to let me know of your own opinion, please let me know in the comment section below. So for me, troopers, I'm not really a vehicle player, but when I do actually get into a vehicle, there's one 
type of vehicle I like using the most, and that's tank. They are literally the only vehicles I actually have tiered 1, and that is both of the tanks. And I love using tanks so much, just taking out other choppers, just being a great player overall. I love playing Conquest, and I feel like playing in a tank is very efficient, and I have so much fun. I'm not one of them guys to sit back on the map, I get nitty and gritty, and that's how I play in the tank. But there was a bug, and it's been really annoying, and there'll be times I try to zoom in, it'll be a black screen, and they aim out, and then aim back in, and it'll fix itself. Well, they actually finally fixed it, and I actually tested it out, and it does work, and that's so good, and I'm so happy. It actually happens with all vehicles, but I just play in tanks, and that's the only thing I really play in. But all the other zoom vehicle stuff, they actually all works completely fine now, and that's just been absolutely great. It was so annoying if I saw an enemy, and I wanted to take him out, and I aim in, and I just couldn't see anything at all. It was just a complete black screen, but I tested this out straight away when the update came out, because I really wanted to know if this would fix it, because this was a very important fix for me, personally, and they did fix it, so I'm really glad about that. So this is a very interesting change. When it comes to the ammo crates and the medic crates, they have actually been changed, but one of the things that's very important is basically you can't be spamming ammunition anymore. If there was a bunch of ammo crates and you just picked up like a nade and you chucked it and you instantly just get another nade straight away because you just detected another ammo crate. Well, now that won't happen anymore. So they actually increased the time so you can actually put down another ammo crate or another medic crate down more, but you can't be spamming other crates as a sink anymore. So you can't heal and then run to another one and instantly heal again. It doesn't work like that. There's going to be a cooldown. Honestly, I think the reason why they did this is to stop all the nade spamming. So this is something we probably have to wait over time as well to actually see if this is a big change. The best way to really find out if this actually is a big change is just go and play exposure, get into the middle section, and you really find out if the explosive spam is a problem or not. But yes, it's a very interesting change as the recent mode of Rush XL just came out not long ago. I know a lot of people love playing that mode, especially when it's 128 players. And Rush has just been a classic mode overall with many battlefield titles out there. But there was one thing in 2042 where they just recently changed, and that was when it comes to the MCOMs. But basically, every time you're going to plant the bomb and all that, it will pop up with an icon of someone planting or diffusing it. Well, they have actually removed that now, so you actually can't see if the enemies are going to diffuse it, or you can't actually see if the enemies are going to be planting it now. I feel like that's going to be a pretty good balance change, actually, for me personally, because I know for a fact that every time I notice that someone's diffusing it, I charge that bomb instantly, so quick, and I felt like all my teammates was doing the same thing. To see someone diffusing it, or trying to, and my whole team just charges that way. I think this would be a lot more of a better addition, so you can actually be more sneaky and try to plant the bomb, or you can even defuse it. So without seeing that indication of that UI now, of showing someone's defusing it or planting now, I think it's a pretty good change. But yeah, troopers, that's all the juicy stuff from the Battlefield 2042 update 5.2. Honestly, I'm having a pretty good blast. I'm so glad they finally brought content to the game. I just felt really stale. I really did. I'm so sad of how stale it really was, because I just was so bored. I wanted something else, and I wanted something new. And now we have have all these fault weapons now what i can use with all these 2042 attachments and getting the rework of hourglass as well is a pretty good update i actually can't even complain with this one i just hope that nothing breaks down the line i just want to have a good time with battlefield that's all but anyway troopers thank you very much for listening to me talk if you did enjoy the video don't forget to leave a like comment subscribe be a part of pink origami and i'll see you troopers on the battlefield